What's up guys, Scribble.com here. So today we're gonna be servicing my transmission. We're gonna be installing a Polini clutch, the SIP performance, servicing the max high speed Polini Variero that we installed the last time. We are also gonna be doing the oil change, putting a new tire, putting new brake pads, and basically a whole maintenance video again. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up guys? As you can see, we got plenty of Polini stuff going on here and it's because I'm gonna be changing and servicing my whole transmission because we are hitting already 70,000 miles and I haven't changed neither the bell or the rollers since I did the last maintenance. I went a little bit over of the regular maintenance that Diario recommends. You should change your bell every 6,000 miles and your rollers every 3,000 miles, I believe. But I went ahead and test everything out to see how long everything could last. And so far, my bell haven't broke yet and the rollers they've been making a little bit rattle noise that's normal that's the regular you know the rollers wear and tear so a lot of people decide to you know change the belt when they're getting into changing the rollers because you, you know you gotta disassemble the whole thing so they just take advantage and replace the belt but you know i recommend to change the belt every 6,000 miles i've been riding with this one over 9,000 miles i think so i don't know if i've been lucky but i rode this scooter every single day as you can see doing uber eats i probably put like 100 and 130 miles every day and I ride this thing like I stole it every second you know like so with my experience this Owen bell is the most long lasting bell of all the bells that you can get for your scooter because right now as you can see we're gonna be swapping a new clutch I want to try out the SIP drive pulley clutch because that one is supposed to give you a more acceleration you have a lot of better performance we're gonna give it a shot I'm gonna be also servicing the max high speed barriero that we installed on the last service we got the new grease we got shoes and the roller to replace everything and servicing the whole thing and this time I'm gonna be replacing the whole clutch assembly you could service the clutch in the meantime like Pierre recommend to service your clutch every 12,000 miles and I went a little bit over that you're supposed to service you know the whole dry pulley you know put new oil seats put new grease and everything but I'm gonna be installing the new max high speed clutch with the speed bell and the SIP dry pulley clutch that's gonna be pretty interesting I'm pretty excited to try that we're gonna be also doing the oil change I have done the oil change every 3,000 miles. I haven't replaced my Malosi Chili Red filter. I never change the filter with every oil change that I do. I only replace it every two oil change. I'm gonna be doing the second one now and I'm also gonna be replacing the Malosi filter that I currently have here for this Polini one which is a little bit thicker I think. It seems to be a little more dense foam than the Malosi one so I'm gonna give it a shot to the Polini one because I, I don't know I like more Polini than anything. And this was a bit spencer. You know the SIP is almost $200 and these two is 80 bucks for the bell and 80 bucks for the clutch but if you're gonna be servicing your clutch you could just get away with this one you should just buy the OM clutch because probably the pads already you know wear out but I'm gonna be also changing the for the Polini speed bell and also I'm gonna be changing my brake pad I wanted to try out the Brembo pads and that's why I got those here you got the front ones and the rear ones and these are made of carbon ceramic these are supposed to be like for racing give you a better braking performance but also I got another company send me this brake pads these alligators this is actually a pretty interesting design for some pads they are designed in Italy and engineered in Germany I have never seen these pads before these are intended to be used for the for the best pass the 200 the 250 and the 300 these are racing carbon and they have this kind of system for cooling which is kind of interesting and the other interesting thing about about this pad is that they're pretty light because the whole assembly is made out of aluminum it's not made out of metal like you know the regular paddings like this one the, this Bremo one that you can really tell the difference of the weight between these ones and this one but I'm pretty excited to try the Bremo ones to see how the brake performance with those with those calipers too I'm gonna be trying this out too I'm gonna make a, a specific video for this brake pad I've never seen this before and they, they seem to have a lot of potential so I will see I got also the dry pulley because I'm gonna be changing that because mine is already wear out so I got a new one I'll OEM from Piaggio because I couldn't find any Polini one at the moment so that's basically it. let's proceed and start opening everything see how everything looks then when I get, get into the tools you're gonna need and then we're just gonna crack that open and start doing the phone part so let's get into it okay so let's proceed and open everything here see how everything looks look at how beautiful that looks 
nice and new. I got the night rollers here, 9.2 grams, so I'm gonna be replacing those two. We also got the new knob for the Barriero and the clutch. Here are the shoes for the max high speed Barriero, new ones. Also got the Polini oil filter. I'm gonna be trying this one out because I already tried the Malosi one. Look at that. Man, I love brand new parts. They look really awesome. <laughs> the good thing about this one is that this one has the adjustable springs right here. And you can actually adjust those springs to get more tension on it. Those are more like for high performance tuning. This thing is actually pretty nice. This is pretty light. I'm pretty impressed with the quality of this one. Polini Evolution. Man, this is really nice. That thing is gonna look really awesome. Wow, look at that thing, man. Woo! Man, this is so sweet. Comes with grease and everything inside. Awesome. This is really awesome, man. Look at that knot and everything. Brand new knot. This is a high performance dry pulley clutch. And now let's get into the tools you're gonna need. Let's get into it. So here are the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and an eight millimeter socket, a six millimeter Allen key, a couple of wrenches of different sizes, I always recommend with their extension arms. It's always handy to have, as well as a big one for the big wrench. You wanna have your special tools to remove the, the clutch and the barriero tool. Of course, it's always recommended to have a torque wrench. This is very important when you're working with this CVT cover. If you don't have a torque wrench, I'll highly recommend to get one because you wanna put the right torque into this nut. So you don't wanna overlook that. This is really important so if you don't have a torque wrench you can borrow a wrench from a friend or someone a big wrench like this one so you can put the right torque to remove those clutch nuts and the barriero which usually are pretty tight but this is all the tools you're gonna need so let's get into it
right, so once we get inside the CVT cobbler, the first thing you want to do is you want to put your oil cap back on because you don't want any dirt to get inside the engine. That's pretty important. So don't forget to put this once you remove the cover. So now we're going to proceed and remove the barriero and we're going to need our barriero tool. See how the max high speed Polini barriero is doing after 8,000, 9,000 miles. And also we're going to inspect the belt to see how well there is any cracks or anything. And of course, we're going to be replacing the whole clutch. Remove the, the Polini spring that we installed the last time. We're going to remove that one to install it into the new one. So we're going to proceed and start to bolt this knot, pull the tool on it so we can take everything off. You can see the wear of this one and you can actually feel that groove in there. After 12,000 miles, Piaggio always recommend to replace this part. It's pretty inexpensive, like 20 bucks, I think. Then you got this washer right here, thinner one. Don't forget about this one. And now we can proceed and remove our clutch. We were starting to have some cracks there. I'm impressed with this belt because Piaggio recommend to change this belt every 6,000 miles, but this one has 9,000 miles. It actually doesn't look that bad, you know, but it's always to replace it after 6,000 miles. You can save it, you know, for a spare one, just in case, have it on your bike or something. <laughs> It's actually in pretty good shape to be honest. You can feel a like groove in there, but we're gonna be sanding this down so we can get, you know, break that glaze. And we're gonna be applying also new grease. You wanna also check the condition of this. And if it's, you know, like kind of loose or it's not running it's pretty smoothly, you will have to, you know, replace it. But this one's still have pretty good life to it. I don't see like any anything wrong with it. You also wanna check the bearing here on your CVT cover. This one right here, if it's not running smoothly, you might wanna replace that bearing. This one seems to be pretty nice. After 17,000 miles, I'm pretty impressed with this. This bearing's actually pretty smooth. I don't hear or feel anything. So far, so good. I'm gonna start by disassembling the clutch so I can take my Polini spring out and install it into the new assembly. Now, I'm not sure if you watched my video when I installed the, the max high speed spring inside the clutch. The, I attempt to remove it with this big wrench and the hammer to remove this nut but now i got myself the big the 46 i think it is yeah this is a 46 millimeter socket i'm gonna attempt to remove it with this one which i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to because this is like a rounded section here it's not allowing me and i don't have the special tool to compress this in so i'm probably gonna be sticking out with the brute weight so if you have the right tools to do it you have the clutch compressor i'll highly suggest you to get that if you can and the, the big socket so you can do it the right way but i'm gonna be attempting to remove it with that with my shoes on or anything i don't know if you watched that video you can clip up there and watch that video it was actually pretty simple to you know you know hammer that nut out without having the socket and the special tool but i'm gonna tend to try it out Okay, so after you have break the nut you can put your shoes on so you hold the tension of the spring and then you can proceed and remove and there carefully uh, successfully remove the spring remember to keep this plastic piece because you, we are going to be reusing this for the new one so you want to keep that one in place let's install the spring into the new one and start assembling everything back on We're now proceeding to assemble the clutch. We're gonna install the spring that comes with the or maxi high speed spring, and we're gonna be installing it in the SIP Perform and Drive pulley clutch. And we got the 3G Polini race clutch here already to install. The cool thing about this clutch is that you can actually get yourself your Allen key here, and you can adjust the spring without necessarily removing the whole clutch assembly from the bike. So this is actually pretty awesome because once this starts to wear out, and you know, you pull some mile on it, you will have to adjust the screws, and it's gonna be pretty easy not to remove the whole clutch assembly to be able to adjust those springs so that's actually pretty awesome so we're gonna attempt to install the clutch spring in here remember to put the cap the black cap on and that's pretty much it kind of confusing this because i never seen someone talking about this because as you can see the shape of this nut is not the same as the stock one this one have like a rounded part and it have like a flat part but what's making me confused is that when i got this clutch like when i took it out of the box this was like this you know it was with the flat part facing to the top so i'm not sure if it have to be with the flat section facing down like this or it can be fitted like this so you can use my socket in so i'm not sure about that in my understanding it will be the flat section goes facing down. <laughs> 
you know, in my personal opinion. But then I think if I want to use my big socket, this thing has like a rounded part that it will probably help me. Like if I put the flat section to the top, it will be easier for me to tie this down. I think so. I don't find any information in the internet about this little detail, but since it comes like this, I'm going to proceed and install it in the same way they send it to me. But I do believe that this should be facing flat in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, so I have successfully installed the, the clutch spring in there and got my 46 socket in here But when I want to proceed and torque this nut 50 Newton meters and That's actually about 40 foot pounds, I'll say Alright, so once you have removed the part you want to give it a nice clean if you have brake cleaner I will highly recommend using brake cleaner, but you can use like soapy water, you know degreaser or anything to break down the dust You want to remove your spring your o-ring spring that is what's in here in the inside If you watch the video on how to install the max high speed it's a bit different back from the stock one But then the only thing what you want to do is it's the same with the old variators You want to break the glaze with a sandpaper you want to go over So you can get some texture on and break that glaze and then after that, you're pretty much ready to reinstall everything, put new grease in the inside. If you don't really know how to do that, you can watch my video and you can clip up there and watch the video on how to install the max high speed when I go like really deep in detail on how to install this correctly. <music> So once we have cleaned out the CVT cover in the inside, we have cleaned out all barrier, it's all degrees. We already sand it down and break that glaze. Everything is nice and clean in the inside. We're gonna be applying the new grease. I already installed and assembled the whole clutch. How beautiful that thing looks. I apply a little bit of Loctite on this knob too. I already installed the Polini spring in the inside and it's pretty much ready to slide it in and that's it. All right, so once we have cleaned out the whole barrier and we have degreased the whole thing, so I'm gonna be applying new grease made for only specifically for this barrier and high speed and high temperature. Got the new shoes you're gonna be installing here remember this one only goes in certain way you just go with the pointed part facing to the top and you can clearly see the difference on how these ones are nice and tight you see how they like block pretty nicely and the old ones you see how loose they are see they're already like pretty kind of loose and that's what makes the rattle noise <laughs> So you slide your shoes in, this is pretty much ready to slide it in, so we have that ready. And now we're gonna be applying the new grease inside this gap, you know, the o-ring and everything as we did. So if you don't really know how to do this correctly, you can watch my video, you can click up there and watch on how to install this in the right way. I go like really in detail on that video and right now I'm just gonna do a time lapse of it while I apply the whole grease in the inside. So let's get started applying the grease and pretty much ready to slide everything in and ready to go. Okay, so we have applied successfully all the grease in the inside as you can see see how everything is nice and fill up so you can see we apply all the grease there is the, the oil spring in the inside and you can see everything is nice and fill up try to you know avoid any contact with grease on the barriero parts and in the roller and I already apply also the grease in, in the inside of the shaft as you can see everything is nice and fill up something you can do you can grab a little bit of alcohol and clean up all the excess in the outside to so decontaminate the whole grease in the outside so if you remember the max high speed if you remember we have that little bushing that you need to save this little part this is really important because with this is how you're gonna be able to install that shaft back in place so remember this plastic piece that came with your max high speed please don't throw this away because then you're not gonna be able to install the shaft so remember the way you put this you put it from the back of the barriero where you install the roller and then you want to push that in uniformly with the shaft you see you want to be careful with the grease in the side coming out you just want to remove all the excess you want to push it in so if you don't get it the first time, you can give it another try. There we go. So it's better if you push it like all the way in. 
Remember to save this plastic chaff because this is how you are able to service and reinstall that chaff back in place. So save it in the box again. Highly suggested saving in the box. And then you can come here and you know, remove all the excess of the grease. Okay, so once you have applied the grease in the whole barriere, what you want to do is you want to grab some alcohol. And you want to clean all the whole outside of your barrier. You just want to decontaminate all the grease that could possibly stay in there. So you don't want to have a greasy barrier. We're pretty much ready to slide that those rollers in. Everything is nice and ready to go. Assemble the clutch. You got the new belt ready in hand. New nut. Remember, this roller go only in certain way. You can see how one part of the roller is is plastic and the other one is metal. So the metal face is always gonna go clockwise. You can see the difference. It does the metal part and this is the, the plastic one. You can really tell the difference. So the face, the metal part goes facing clockwise. See, metal face, clockwise. <music> have a slide or rollers in and we got our shoes in the slider and everything you can proceed and slide this piece in and push it all the way in until like that then you want to grab it like a sandwich and make sure anything greasy if you got grease in your hands wash your hands before you manipulate any of the barriero parts because you don't want to make them greasy or anything okay so once we have slide or barriero in it's already nice and greased with new rollers and everything now we can swap our new beautiful belt so once you have your swap your belt in you can proceed and slide or clutch in everything is nice and clean okay so once we have swap or belt in you want to grab this thin washer and slide it all the way in there and then you want to grab your dry pulley barrier thing you just want to slide that in there lighten up with the with the chaff and just push it in there and then you have these two washers remember you got the thinner one and the thicker one with the special shape so you want to put thinner one first and then the thick one and then we can put our new knot you can apply a little bit of loctite if you want it's not completely necessary but it's always recommended tiny bit there and then we can proceed and put our knot Then we can proceed and torque that into 65 foot pounds. And then we can proceed and slide this beautiful Polini Evolution clutch belt in place. I'll recommend applying a little bit of anti seize in there. It gets like really stuck and you will have to get an extractor tool. So you just want to put a tiny, tiny bit. It's not completely necessary, but I like to do it because I already struggle myself one trying to remove that drum bell. There we go. You can see we apply a tiny bit in there of anti seize. And then we can proceed and slide this beautiful thing inside. Alright, so once we have swapped the clutch belt in and everything is nice and torqued, we are pretty much ready to slide our CVT cover. So you want to proceed and take your oil diptic, set that in aside. don't forget to put your filter on it's nice and clean already give it a nice wash like we did the last time you don't want to forget to put this this is a very important part because this is one is going to protect your belt and all your transmission parts so if you don't put this and you get a rock inside a lot of dirt or something you don't want to overlook that <music>
that's how you easy service your transmission and install the Polini and SIP performance clutch into your GTV or GTS or GT. It's actually pretty straightforward. We already swapped the Polini filter in and we're pretty much ready to give it a shot. Install the new rollers, we apply the new grease in the max high speed barrier and everything, the new nuts and lock tie and everything. We already changed the oil, so we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Let's see how it runs. All right, so now let's run the bike and see how everything runs. I'm gonna let the bike run for a little bit because since I did my oil change, so I'm gonna let it run, you know, circulate all the oil and then shut it down, measure it, see how, how much is left and refill it. And now I have successfully installed this whole setup. I'm very excited to try this out, test it out, feel that torque, feel that power. It's a performance kit, so you're actually gonna get a lot of performance. So we'll see how that feels. Can't wait to go for a ride, man. Give it a shot. Man, it sounds so nice. Let's go and try this baby out. How it feels, baby. power baby can definitely feel a noticeable improvement on this transmission this is a whole nother bike I don't hear anything man, this is so smooth! Woo, so much power man! <laughs> this thing feels awesome!